Hello, and welcome to In Control 2 demo from West Networks, part of our Peplink University series. Today, I'm going to show you how to add and remove a device uh, from In Control. So the first thing to do if you add a new device, you want to go to Settings, Add Devices. You can then put in the serial number of the device, and here you can put in tag. So if this is like my XDX HQ, or maybe I want to say it's um, USA, um, you know, if you put in the location, um, or I, maybe I can say it has an LTEA backup, you know, so you could put in your tags that are going to be applied to all the serial numbers. So if you're putting a whole bunch of serial numbers that all apply to one location, you can assign those tags and that those tags will be assigned to all those devices. You click next. And then it's going to ask you to put a name so you can name your devices. If you have a bunch of devices, uh, you can name them all. And so here you could just say, you know, like SDX HQ demo. Uh, LTEA. And then hit confirm. And now I can go back to my dashboard and there is my SDX HQ demo LTEA with my tags. To edit the tags, I can click edit, select the device, go to tags, go to remove, and then I could actually remove any tags that I don't want as part of this device. I can also click edit check the checkbox for the router that I'm looking at, hit tags and add a tag that I would like. So LTEA, click add, and you'll see that it shows up right there, LTEA. Then I can remove the device. To remove the device, it's, there's one thing you have to check before you remove the device. You wanna to go to your speed fusion configuration and make sure the device is not part of a speed fusion tunnel because you cannot remove a device if it's part of a speed fusion tunnel. This device is not part of a speed fusion tunnel. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna select the device I wanna remove, click actions and remove device. Here you can say there's data collected on select device. You wanna be cleared from the systems. So you can say, I wanna remove all the device data or retain the device on the, on the devices. So I'm gonna hit remove, select okay. It's gonna say updated and my device is gonna go away. So I just wanted to quickly show you how to add and remove devices from InControl as well as add and remove device tags. Thank you very much and have a great day.